Today, John Henry Yates, more commonly known as Jack, is arguably the most recognizable African-American presence from post-Civil War Houston. His name still graces one of the most historic high schools in HISD. Yates was born into slavery in Virginia in 1828, but was allowed to come to Texas in the early 1860s with his wife Harriet, who was enslaved on a nearby plantation. When the war ended and emancipation became known in Texas, Yates, as did thousands of newly freed blacks, relocated his family to Houston. Initially, he worked as a wagon driver, but in a very short time, Jack Yates, who had learned to read and write while still enslaved, was recruited by the American Baptist Home Mission Society and ordained as the first regular pastor of Antioch Baptist Church. In 1870, Reverend Yates and other men from his family built this house at 1318 Andrews Street in the Freedmanstown section of the Fourth Ward. The two-story residence is built of cypress in a simplified Greek Revival style. It was here that the family lived during the most productive years of Jack Yates' time as a community leader. Yates helped establish Emancipation Park in Third Ward, used by the city's African Americans for the annual Juneteenth celebration. In the late 1880s, about the time he moved from Antioch to become the founding pastor at Bethel Baptist Church, Jack Yates was instrumental in the founding of the Houston Academy for Negroes, a school that offered both academic and industrial education. After the Reverend's death in 1897, the house on Andrew Street was occupied by his second wife before passing from the family's hands. Daughter Pinky Yates, one of several of the children who became a school teacher, reacquired the home and was joined there by her sister Nanny and her niece Martha County Whiting. Their brother, Rutherford B. Yates, built a house next door. A kitchen was added to the back of the Yates house near the start of the 20th century, and major renovations and repairs were undertaken in 1920 when electricity was added. Yates family members lived in the house until the 1960s, after which it served as a rental property until coming to the Heritage Society in 1994, largely through the efforts of its former resident, Martha Whiting. When THS acquired the house, some modifications had been made, including replacing the original round columns with square ones. The exterior restoration was based on an 1890 photograph of the building in its original location. The porch and columns were reconstructed to match the photo. The original floor plan and stairs were restored. The light fixtures in the house today represent pre-electricity oil lamps and the metal shingles on the roof are a close match to the originals, some of which were found still in place during the restoration. Visitors to the Yates house today see a number of items that belong to the family, including a Seth Thomas wall clock that was purchased on installments by Reverend Yates himself. The Reverend's desk, fashioned from the body of an organ, sits in the parlor. Other original family pieces include the piano, a wash basin, chairs and side tables, and the two East Lake style beds upstairs, and a matching dresser. In the master bedroom at the front of the house, laid out as if for Sunday, are Jack Yates's walking cane and Bible.